Hello and welcome to this very short and to the point tutorial on iClone 5.4 which will show you how to create a simple animation path. Right, uh, so what we'll do is we'll start a new project and what we want to do is make sure that the playhead is at the start of the timeline. I uh, will pick any actor that we want, um, really, it doesn't really matter, anything that you've got will do, but I'm going to use this random character that I've picked out in my library, which is the Toon Blue Bird, I believe, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to move him back, or her back, um, in the scene, to about there, and realise that the... the Playhead is at the start. If it, if the uh, playhead wasn't at the start, move back to the start. And what we can do now is we can uh, create a walk path. So we just go to animation. We've already got path selected, and you select create path, and we we'll start to draw a path, a straight path, if you want, or a curvy path along here and we right click on the mouse to stop drawing the path right and what we'll do now is we we'll right click on the character which you can see here is toon blue in the in in the scene manager so we've we've made sure that we've got uh the correct asset selected and we'll select path and we'll select pick path and we'll select the first point of the path which is here. You notice how he jumps to the first point of the path. So now what we want to do is we want to decide how long it will take him to walk from there to there. So what we'll do is we'll move the playhead along here and see it'll take him, I don't know, about uh, four or five seconds to walk from there to there or from there to there. And we'll right click again on the character and we will select path Right click and select path, pick path, and select the end point. And notice how he jumps from the start point to the end point of the path. So if we scroll back along to the beginning of the clip, uh, and if we scroll, uh, if we play that, one, two, three, four, five, six. it's about five seconds. Um, he slides from the start of the part of the walk path to the end of the walk path. So what we want to do is obviously want to animate him. I want him to walk in some style or some kind of walk style. So we'll go to animation and we we'll go to motion and we go to motion puppet. And what we're going to do is we're going to preview some of the uh, the um, animation styles available under walk. So we've got idle, mood, move and talk. So we want to select move. So under move we've got all of these um, preset um, animations for walk. So what we'll do is we'll select, as you can see, the timelines at the start. There he is at the start of the walk path, and we'll select angry walk, and we'll select the space bar to preview the walk. Mm, I don't really like that. It, it, it would work. Uh, and we could actually unmute his head to uh, lift it up using the um, direct puppet. Let's try a basic run. Not too bad either. Let's try a basic walk. Seems more or less a slide there, but I suppose uh, you could alter that with the exaggeration in the speed settings. Try a cool walk. Mm. Uh, try a depressed walk. That's more of a slide. What about a strut? Mm, what about what about a tip to a cute walk or a basic walk? Some more of a slide. Basic run. That seems to work reasonably good. A basic run. So what we'll do is we'll select record, hit the space bar, and it's recording that uh, animation and stop. So now 
Um, there we go, we've just created the walk path. Well, and there we go. So basically that is how to create a walk path. And if you want to um, try anything more advanced, you could have a look at some of my future tutorials which I plan to make. Thanks for watching and can you, it would be nice if you could subscribe and to give me a like.